Planet Dolan. What maze was designed with a 0% clear rate in mind? Why is the largest maze in the world made with bamboo? From gardens to warehouses, here are 15 labyrinths you can totally get lost in. I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Lavender Labyrinth. The Cherry Point Farm and Market in Shelby, Michigan is mostly known for being a family-owned farm market selling stuff you can eat. But in 2001, they also added a flower maze made entirely of French lavender. It takes about an hour to traverse the labyrinth and get to the herb garden in its center. And then it's another hour to get out. Number 14. Bishop's Palace Garden. Okay, imagination time. Picture in your head a huge castle in the middle of Portugal, like medieval style. Now picture a hedge maze outside that castle. Does it look like this? The Bishop's Palace Garden in Castelo Branco, Portugal is as close to a picture perfect hedge garden as you'll find. Of course, it's not a very confusing maze with the path going right through the middle, but there are plenty of places to hide. Number 13, Hampton Court Palace Maze. The oldest surviving hedge maze in the UK is a big trapezoid covering about a third of an acre of land. Created around 1700, it's one of the first popular hedge mazes that was, in fact, a maze. Up to that point, most hedge mazes in the UK were unicursal, just a single path leading to the centre, which would make them more of a walking trail than a maze. Number 12. Davis Mega Maze. Every fall in Massachusetts, you can head out to a corn maze so massive, it's actually a whole complex. It isn't just one maze, it's a complex of several, and they're carved out brand new with a new theme each fall. Some of the more difficult mazes can take hours. Trying to clear them all can take an entire day. Number 11. Reignac sur Onde. This 10 acre site in Touraine, France was built in 1996 and appears in a new form each year. And it draws about 85,000 visitors a year. It's one of the newer plant mazes in existence, but its design is based on old Greek and Gothic era labyrinths. Number 10. Annaberg Buchholz Maze. Most of these so far have been mazes made with corn or hedges, but in 2012, a pair of German artists had a different idea, a cellophane maze. This maze is made of a total of 16 kilometers of plastic wrap wrapped around various trees in the area. The creators say the maze is a metaphor for life. Number 9. Leeds Castle Maze. This maze originally opened in 1988 with an aviary. The aviary has since closed, but the maze is still going strong. This is a maze made of up to 2,400 yew trees and looks like the Queen's crown when viewed from the center. It's one of the most difficult mazes to solve because the shape of the maze is square, but the roots are circular. Number eight, Green Man Maze. The Green Man Maze was built in the UK to celebrate the turn of the millennium. It's called the Green Man Maze because it's shaped like the Green Man, a pagan icon. It's filled with secrets throughout, little gardens, tunnels, pools, all meant to throw you off the path. So it's a good one to check out if you're more interested in exploring than solving. Number seven, the Tangled Maze. Part maze, part scavenger hunt. This maze in Creswick, Australia has a cool concept, answering riddles as you explore the maze. On the other hand, the site also has a mini golf course, giant chess set, laser tag, and an event hall. So it also kind of looks like a bit of a tourist trap. Number six, the Forest of No Hope. In July 2012, Japan became home to the Forest of No Hope. Rather than a hedge maze, this is more of an escape room with countless doors, paths, and clues to contend with. The facility is about 3,300 square meters, or about 35,000 square feet. And the designers say they created it, hoping for a 0% clear rate. Number five, Masone Labyrinth. The largest labyrinth in the world is this 80,000 square foot monster near Parma, Italy. It was constructed in 2015 and is unique not just because of its size, but because it was made almost entirely with bamboo. Why bamboo? The maze's architect, Franco Maria Ricci, said he chose bamboo because if I'd built it with boxwood, I would have had to wait 20 years to see it finished. And I don't have that kind of time left. Number four, Andrassy Castle Maze. For many of these destinations, the maze is probably the main event. But in this case, it might be a tie. The maze is certainly awesome, but the Andrassy Castle itself in Tizadub, Hungary is a sight to behold as well. The maze and the surrounding park dates all the way back to about 1885, when Hungary was still Austria-Hungary. Number three, Ashcombe Maze. Maybe just walking through a simple hedge maze isn't enough for you. Maybe you'd also like to hunt for gnomes. The Ashcombe Maze has a number of claims to fame, 
Aside from the event they've dubbed the Great Gnome Hunt, it's also the oldest and also the largest traditional hedge maze in Australia, and the site is home to the world's first circular rose maze. Number 2. Dole Plantation Pineapple Maze On the island of Oahu near Honolulu, Hawaii, you can find the Pineapple Garden Maze. The Dole Plantation Maze earned the Guinness World Record for the largest maze in the world in 2001, but later lost it. Despite it being called a pineapple maze, the maze is actually made of several different plants, but hey, at least the plantation has the Pineapple Express. It's a train that takes you on a tour around the plantation. What were you thinking about? Number 1. Villa Pisani Labyrintho Rumour has it, Napoleon got lost in this labyrinth despite him living there. Hitler and Mussolini, on the other hand, were scared to even enter at all. Those may sound like urban legends, but it's true that this is one of the most challenging labyrinths in the world. It dates back to about 1720, including the tower that sits at the centre of the maze. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time!